My respected elders and brothers, I was just uh, reciting the Quran before the Salat, and that was an Arabic version. Our version is different, you know. But wherever there was a rub written, it was written in with red pen, red pen. So in every page, there so many times rub is written. So I asked the alim that how many times rub has come in Quran? It is 964 times the word rub has come. In the Qabr, you know when we were in the alim arba before coming, coming to this world, Allah asked us, Allah astabhi rabbakum, am I not your rub? We all said, qalu bala, yes, indeed, ya Allah, you are rub. When we leave this world, the first thing we will say is, Rabbana, absarna, wasameena, farjeena, namal salihan, inna muqlinun. Oh Rabb, I have seen now. I have seen. Now I've heard. Now I believe this. Please send me once. I won't do what I was, whatever I was doing. In the cover, the question is, Mar Rabbuk. Allah won't say, who is Allah? Who was Allah? No, this is not the question. The Quran says, if you ask them, who is Allah? So Allah is the one who has made seven heavens in the earth. The question is Rabb. And 964 times this word, this word has come Rabb. And we start the Salah with Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. The Rabb of the whole Alam is Allah. We change our position in the Ruku. We say, Subhana Rabbi, my Rabb is Allah. When we go up from the Ruku, we say, Rabban Alakalam. Our Rabb is Allah. My Rabb in Ruku and our Rabb is, we stand from the Ruku. Go in the Sajda, we say, Subhan Rabbi Allah, my Rabb is Allah. And when in the, sit in the uh, Jalsa, we say, Rabbana Atina Fi Dunya, Rabbana La Tuzuk Kulamana, Rabbana, Rabbana Dalamna, Rabbana Fakhfillana, Rabbir Hamma, Rabb Rabb. But the heart is not believing Allah is Rabb. I started cricket very late. I used to, I was used to live in Iran. Brother, no video, please. I lived seven years in Iran. I was a footballer. And I played a lot of tennis, table tennis. In U.S., you said racquetball. So I had no clue of cricket, you know, till, till A-levels. You say A-levels, we say intermediate. I couldn't even hold the bat. But anyway, some fluke, you know, came and I went into the international. I don't know how it went. But when I played my first game under Imran Khan, who was my captain, he, I, yani, Somehow, I don't know how I played, but I scored a lot of runs in that game, and it was a very difficult pitch in Australia. But anyhow, Imran Khan Saab told me that I can become a top player. Now, when I realized that I can be a player, and I can make money, and I can make fame, now this, this goal was the, yani, this was the main maqsad of my life. And this went right into the heart, that I can become a cricketer, I can make money, I can make fame, and my ahwal will be rectified. And this is the tariqa. So I made cricket my rub. On the second night of Walima, I left my wife for one month for, to make money, to make fame. So it was easy to leave wife for dunya. But today leaving wife for deen, oh no. This is impossible. We are doing exactly what Millat Ibrahim is. What is Millat Ibrahim? Leaving your wife and your children without home. And the second is leaving your wife and children with home. You know, Hazrat Sarah and Hazrat Isaf alayhi salam was left by Ibrahim alayhi salam with home, with shelter, with food. But Ismail alayhi salam and Hajra Ibrahim alayhi salam left Wadi Zizar without any shelter, without any habitants, without any food. So the sacrifice of Ismail alayhi salam and Hajra was bigger. From there, Nabi sallallahu alayhi salam came. And with the sacrifice was of a little, yani little, from there, Yaqub al Islam, Yusuf al Islam. Please, no videos. No. So, we are doing exactly what, because we are Millat Ibrahim, we are, we are, we have been, uh, yani Ibrahim Islam is doing dua to Allah. Because Rabbana taqabbal minna wa Allah, accept my sacrifice. And give me a ummah who will exactly do what I did, leaving my family. Today we are leaving families for dollars, for American passport. I know a man here, my friend, he, he lived here for 27 years to get American passport. Couldn't get it, sent back. I know so many people in Canada, for 10 years they want one thing, their rub is immigration, you know. Once I get Canadian immigration, you know, oh, life will change. Don't worry about Allah. Once I become a cricketer, I will have a wonderful life. 
Well, I have never seen anybody having a wonderful life because it can't be. This world is not made to fulfill desires. It has no capacity. I want my hair not to turn grey. See, I colour my hair. They say you are young. No, it's just colour. It's a deceit, you know. My hair are turning grey. Nobody can stop it. I, I had two uh, teeth. They left me at a young age. Couldn't do anything. My age is... I'm ageing. I cannot run forever. Impossible. I will die soon. My desire won't... Nobody wants to die. I met an aged man, 80 years old. You know what? Farishta means angel. So, these English speaking will understand. Rishta means, Rishta means that somebody gives a daughter or sister to me. Rishta has come. Marriage, you know. So, 80 year old, I asked, you do some dini effort. He said, my wife has died. I am waiting for a Rishta. I said, brother, Rishta will come. Rishta won't come. Angel will come now. You are 80. Still at the age of 80, he wants a Rishta. Somebody come, you know, and marry me. No, Rishta, angel will come now. So, every, nobody wants to die. Even my father is 84. And he's mashallah, mashallah, luck was, he's young, he doesn't want to die, he don't want to die. I had a grandmother, she was 98, she wanted to live. The son, please pray two more years. So nobody wants to die. But this desire cannot be fulfilled. As the in Islam asked Allah, oh Allah, give me extension of my life, can see Batman Magdas from my eyes. No, wouldn't accept it. So my brothers, Allah is our Rabb. Somehow, because of this dunya, we have forgotten Allah is Rabb. People, you know, in Pakistan, wallahi, you know, Allah is a Rabb. And Allah says in the Quran, Inna ladina qalu, Rabban Allah summa staqam. Whoever believes Allah is Rabb and is with istaqamat, you know, uh, perseverance. What Allah will do? When He will die, the angels will come. Tatanazzal. Angels will come. And Hadith authentic says, 500 angels will come down. With different great tidings, different colors of flower, different news. And when he will be frightened after seeing angels and he will be afraid of leaving his wife and children, they will say, Allah taqafu wala tahzanu. Don't fear what is coming ahead and don't do gham, don't be grieved by the things you are living. And let's go, I will show you the jannah which Ambiya had promised to you. And listen, nahnu awliyakum ila dunya fil akhra. We were with you in the dunya as well, but you couldn't see us. We were helping you. We used to go with you when you used to go for work. We used to help you. We used to send the people to your shop. And we used to give you your risk in only one hour, two hours. Wallahi, I was today telling one of my friends a story which I shouldn't tell, but you know, such a lovely people sitting in front of me. I told him 15 years back. He said, Sayyid Bhai, how did you get away from this dunya? I said, I sat with Allah, please no movie. I'm telling the personal things. I sat with Allah once after retiring, oh Allah, I need five million rupees for f to live a good life, you know, a, a useful, a necessity life, not desires. Because our life was, you know, no limits, you know, cars and homes and everything. But I need, example I'm saying, five million. Oh Allah, you give me one month, inshallah, eleven months, I'll do the work of deen. This friend of mine, he said, I asked the same dua. And Allah gave me in 10 days same money, but I said, no, Allah, I want a little more. I kept going. So there's no limit. I was asking last night that Salat is for five times a day. In Fajr, you pray two rakat Salat. With her, one or three, whatever. And Maghrib, three rakats. We know all the faraiz. Ramadan will come 29 or 30. Zakat, 2.5 percent. But Muslims don't know what is fard in kamai in earning, working and work. What is fard? Any limit? Playing without limit. No boundary line, playing cricket. No result. No boundary. Without boundary, there's no tennis, there's no cricket, there's no MBA, no FL. We have no boundary of, you know, earning. Kamai, kamai, earning, 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 earning. You know, we remember you used to sit in the economy class, Ya Allah. I wish we could sit in the business class. What a then we, somehow, the cricketers were uh, made to sit in the business class because of too much traveling. So we went in the business class. I said, these guys, you know, when you sit in the economy class, they make you enter from business class to show you business class. Say, wow, what a seat. And then take you back to the toilet. <laughs> and the business class aerostats are maximum 30, under 30. And you go to economy class, over 50. You sit here, you think about before 30, oh, I, I wish I could have been. And then when you go into the business class, they make you enter from the first class. So business, first class, wow, 
own room. Wow, mashallah, mashallah. It was just under 20. Wow, own toilet, own this, everything own. Now, when we go in the first class, now we're thinking, Ya Allah, I wish I could have my own private plane. Desire never ended. And in on Deen, it is totally opposite. When I'm, five to, I'm playing five times, all my friends are who? They play only Friday. Now I'm Hazrat Ji. Hazrat Ji, mashallah, five prayers, mashallah, masjid. And the person who's doing Friday salah, all his uh, friends are Eid Namazi. Mashallah. Hazrat Ji, every Juma, he won't, he, he won't miss. For the last 20 years, mashallah, doing Juma. Istakamah. Mashallah, mashallah. And the person who's doing Eid, all his our friends are without salat. Mashallah, Hazrat, for the last 30 years, never miss Eid salat. Everyone has become Hazrat. Allah Rasul said, you know, in the, on deen, sit with the better people with than you. And in dunya, sit with the lesser people than you. Then you will have shukar. And Allah says in the Quran, Shaitan said, Oh Allah, most of your people won't be sh- uh, shukar guzar. They won't be thankful. They won't be great. They have no gratitude. And today we say the same thing is happening. My respected brothers, I've been traveling all over the world now with the Previously it was cricket, now it's a thing has changed, but traveling it has been more. You know, in Pakistan, you know, sometimes people come and, you know, uh, criticize us, brother Sayyid Anwar. What are you doing? You leave your wife for six months, seven months. Is it fair? I said, brother, in cricket I used to leave my wife for 11 months. Nobody came up to me. Why are you leave your wife for 11 months? Come only one month. So it's much sacrifice for cricket. So much sacrifice the, for the play of kufar. Mashallah, mashallah. But for Deen people, and come criticize me. My respected brothers, what I see all over the world is that Muslims are disuniting every day, you know. Rasulullah Sassam did three duas. Two were accepted, one was accepted. Oh Allah, don't make my ummah fight. Now, wallah, leave India, Pakistan, leave Kashmir, leave everything. The fights are at home are uncontrollable. All the courts in Pakistan and the jails are overloaded because of fights of the families. And I'm saying that Allah is not, that nobody can make you fight unless Allah doesn't do it. Allah says, when the ummah will leave the work of Dawud, I'll put hatred on them and make them fight each other. Today we are fighting. Wallahi, every home, people come to me, Sayyid Bhai, what are you doing for Kashmir? I said, leave me Kashmir. Is your home rectified, corrected? You have more fights at home than Kashmir. All the jails are full. Fights of relatives. Either mal or either uh, land. Fight of land and mal. The whole courts. Australia went fights. 55 Muslim countries fighting each other. We have Pakistan. All cities fighting each other. We have Karachi. The whole Karachi fighting. Sindhi, Sunni, Chunni, Munni, Dhunni, Dobandi, Janbandi, Hudbandi. So many bandi fighting, fighting. Nash bandi or Fala bandi. I'm selfie, I'm selfie, I'm selfie. I'm well. So many jamaats. Fighting, fighting, fighting. So whole world is fighting. And religious people are fighting, it's impossible. Allah says to Nabi Sassam, Oh Nabi, if you ever spent the whole money of this world, you can never have made Sahaba love each other. It's only Allah who put love in them. Because they were at the boundaries of the hell. Allah pulled them from the hell, from the Jahannam. So it's Allah who put love. Because Adi says that Allah says, Oh Jibreel, this guy has repented. This brother has repented. And he has said, sorry Allah, from today I would make you my Rabb. So he has repented, now I love him. Oh Jibreel, you also love him. Oh Jibreel put this love in the whole creation in the world. When Allah loves somebody, then wife will love. When Allah doesn't love, Wallahi wife won't love. Even if you put jewelry on her. I have tried 17 years, couldn't put love in my wife. Only give money, then they will love. You take, don't give money, they won't love you. That's the criteria, but Alhamdulillah, with this effort, Wallahi, I've got only one wife now. But I, I tell always my wife that, you are so nice, I want three more like you. But she never accepts it. There the Islam finishes him. <laughs> She's very good. Masha Pais, Tahajjud. But when this story comes, she doesn't want. But same wife has changed. Allah said, you correct relationship with myself, I will correct the relation with the whole mankind. When, when Allah is angry, you know wife is angry. When Allah, we, Allah doesn't love us, our children will obey us. In the days of Sahaba, animals used to listen, but today our children are not listening to us. My respected brothers, the reason I'm telling you, that why this dushmani, this hatred and animosity has grown, it is the reason one of our elders, Mufti Zainal Ladi Sahib, used to tell this ajib thing. 
that Dushman have four letters, Dushman. These are the four enemies. If you make them your enemies, the whole world will be your friend. They will love you. And I have, I have uh, practiced this, realized this. I was a cricketer. I used to play against the non-Muslim countries. And we had a terrible fight in the ground, you know. Verbal fight, not hand fight. But after I came to this practicing deen and I, uh, I connected with this effort of deen, wallahi, all the non-Muslims are mostly, they used to stand up for me. The West Indian team would never cross me because you say, you go first, then you'll follow. The Sri Lankan team, you know, they stood up for me. That Sayyid Anwar has come. The respect is with Mumin, not with cricketer. Cricketer has fame, but nothing to do with respect. Respect is that is connected with his heavens. It is Allah who gives respects. It is Allah who gives Izzat. Izzat has nothing to do. Firon is very popular. He's got fame. He's got no Izzat. Nobody puts her son's name, Firon. Oh, my son, this is Firon. This is Namrud. This is Ibelis' son. Sheikh Makki Rahmat Dawud Barakatum. In uh, Haram, somebody, you know, tried to play with him. He said, I want to pay, put a uh, name of my son. There shouldn't be any, only one name. He said, put Iblis, because nobody's son is named Iblis. So he was trying to play with Makki Sahib. So who is Dushman? I just want to remind you. Rem Allah, mashallah. But you know, we practice every day to improve our game. If you leave practice, game is gone. If you're sick, you take Panadol every day. If you like Panadol, then the Muslim. If you've got diabetes, we take medicine every day. We leave the medicine, diabetic will increase. So this medicine, every day we have to take. And Allah says in Quran, Inna fi zalika la zikra liman kana lahu qalbun o al qassama huwa shaheed. Advice benefits to people who do three things. Put their heart here. Heart shouldn't go out. You know the Muslim is with the heart. It always, you know, it is like a frog. You know frog, you put in a pan, pan frog, they will jump out. Heart jumps out. You know, there was a guy named Sheikh Chilli, a naughty guy. So somebody asked him, hey, Sheikh Chilli, I've got this uh, 20 kgs of zaitun. Can you take it at my home? He said, I will take. How much? I will take $10. So uh, Sheikh Chilli put that can of zaitun on the head and started walking. Now Sheikh Chilli thought, I'll get $10, I'll buy some chickens. And they will eggs, then chickens will come out, eggs, chicken, eggs, chickens. Shares really went ahead, you know. He became a billionaire and made homes in Fremont and this and there. And he got a lot of bank balances. And Shir Chili was sitting in his home, swimming pool in front, lying down, aged now. Children came, oh, Shir Chili, my father, please uh, give this property to us. Uh, all property, you're now going to die. So Shir Chili kicked his son. As he was kicking in dreams, so all oil fell down. So the guy said, Sheikh Chilli, you, you, you did such a loss to me of $200. He said, you lost $200? I lost billions of dollars, you know. So in the mind, you know, thinking of making the niya, the niya. So heart should be present. And you should lend your ears what he's saying. And you should be present. On internet, you can't get the knowledge of the but the, uh, the fahim, the fakta of the deen, understanding of deen, wallahi you cannot get unless you sit in the gatherings. This is must, kunu must sadiqi, sit with the righteous people. Without cricket, without a coach, nobody even can be a cricketer. Without a swimmer, even he recite, memorize hundreds of books of swimming, he cannot be a swimmer unless he doesn't go in the pool with the swimmer. So my respect brothers, we, secondly Allah says in Quran, if Allah sees any good in them, only Allah makes them listen. And if even, even if they ever listen, they, wouldn't have, they would have not put no heat. So you are listening and I am talking is with the fuzz of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, In the Sharrat Dabbabi, in the Lahir Summul Bukmul, Ladina La Yakunun. The worst of the catches in the world are the people who don't listen and talk. So Alhamdulillah is listening and talking. Four Dushman enemies. One is Dal, the love of dunya. This dunya I have spent 30 years. Wallahi, this is the worst enemy. And what is the meaning of dunya? Dunya, the dirtiest thing and the nearest thing. And today our maqsad is dunya. And shaitan promises, when Allah said, leave this, uh, arrow, leave this place of mine, he said, Allah, okay, give me life in front of them. And I am coming from this beautiful dunya, which is thus a deceit of high. Allah says, This is dhoka, deceit. This is a, this is a deceit. 
Nataun Khalil, if you will enjoy only for a moment, you will enjoy new, new cell phone only one month, new Tesla only two months, new home three months, new wife only one month, two months. You don't, this is fact. Wallahi, this is not my saying. Sayyidina Ali said, if you are marrying for enjoyment, enjoyment lasts only one month. Then for enjoyment, you didn't see taqwa, you didn't see haya, you see, you see the face, Allah says the thing you are beautifying, I don't look at it, I look at the heart, I don't look at the faces, you, I don't look at your mal, I look at the amals. So Shaitan Zalim said that I will beautify this dunya, and he said I will deceive them through seven things, women, I will deceive whole makhluk with women, with the awlaat, children. They will deceive my children, and uh, you know I am trying to settle my children, inshallah, then I will see Allah. Number three, gold and silver. In Quran, gold and silver is Zahab and Fidla. What is Zahab? Dinar. What is Fidla? Diram. Diram meaning is door of sorrow, Dirham, door of sorrow. And Dinar means the, the, dinar means the currency which burns Deen to fire, Dinar. So Shaitan says, I will beautify dunya, women, Children, gold, silver, branded horses. Not only horses, branded things, you know. Rolex, iPhone, Samsung, Boss, Armani. And sixth, I will deceive them with lands, you know, properties, you know, Beria Town, Fremont, LA, California. And I will deceive them from Anam. These horses and cattle, these uh, camels. Today, Lamborghini. Ports, Tesla. So seven things I will beautify for them. Wallahi, I tried every seven thing, except women, which I don't want to tell, because it's a big sin. But Wallahi, Wallahi, I tried. It is nothing. And I've seen, I was here, I've seen a sportsman up there, top tennis player, top football player, top car racer, top actor, top everything top. Wallahi, 100% result is Depression, drug suicide. Depression, drug suicide. I read a book, say, 30 years ago, when I was playing cricket and doing my computer sciences degree. So I was, I was just, you know, uh, doubtful what to do because playing cricket in, in millions of people is a different, difficult task. But I read a beautiful book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. The man is writing a book which was one of the favorite books of the centuries. How to stop bringing start living? Dale Carnegie, he also committed suicide. This dunya, Allah is saying in Quran, O oh Muhammad Sallallahu La Tamudduna Ainaika Ila Muhammad Tana. O oh Nabiji, you don't even uh, don't look at don't look at the mata of dunya. Yani benefit of dunya. Don't yani not desires. Not even look at the dunya mata. Because this dunya is why I made. It's only a test in uh, in Jalna, no other of the Zina Kala, the Nabulum, I am Asana, Asana. I made this Dunya to test you, not to make Dunya. Only I will see that in Dunya, how would you make Amal? Who is the one who makes the Amal beautiful? Today we are fooled by Shaitan, so our biggest enemy is Dunya. Allah says, What Allah, I, when I read the stories of Sahaba, Rustam, such a big tyrant ruler. 70% uh, dunya was he owns and one sahabi, very yani, not very tall sahabi with a sword which is broken and he entered his throne with a donkey, uh, Rabi bin, uh, bin Amir and he is threatening the whole yani, kingdom alone and today we cannot even threat yani, our close ones. You know Sayyid Umar writing a letter to River Nile or River Nile Correct yourself. If you don't, you have, if you belong to Allah, correct. Otherwise, we don't know. Wallahi, I cannot read, write this letter to my wife. Oh, oh, my wife, be careful. I will see you. It's difficult, you know, because the fear of Muslims have been taken out from the world. Why? One reason. Rasulullah Sassam said that there will be time when the whole, this whole mankind will eat my ummah like hungry people eat food. Ya Rasulullah, what will happen? My, our ummah will be less? No, they will begin in numbers. Will, but their condition will be like, like foam in the ocean. Foam has no weight, no value. And the fear of my ummah will be taken away from the enemies. Ya Rasulullah, what will happen? They will have a disease of Wahan. What is disease of Wahan? Fear of mouth. 
and hate, hatred of mouth and love for this dunya. And today, my brothers, wallahi, I myself don't want to die. Death is a, death is a gift for a moment. That uh, Yusuf Islam is asking Allah, Oh Allah, my work has finished. Allah, I want to leave this dunya. I want to die as a Muslim. How many times we pray to Allah, oh Allah, make me die as a Muslim. So our first enemy is Dal, dunya. Second enemy is Shaitan. And the person who doesn't do the work of Dawud, Wallahi, Shaitan is his best friend. Whether he's a Musalli or a Haji. Because without Dawud, without Dawud, you cannot be even a Muslim. Quran says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلَ مِنْ مَنْ دَعِلَ اللَّهِ وَعَمَلَ الصَّالِحِ وَقَالَ إِنَّ الْمُسْلِمِينَ This is not me. This is the tafsir of Arab, not Ajibi. Tafsir of Yemenis. Yemen. Iman fil Yemen. Hikmah fil Yemen. Yemeni mufti, ulama, says the person without salat, there's no, there's no body. Hadith says a salat is to Islam like a head to the body. Without head, there's no body. Without salat, there's no, 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 no Muslim. So without salat, there's no Islam. How can be Islam without Dawud? Because salat came after 11 years. Listen, when I start my salat, I first said Takbir tahrima People are fighting for hands. Lifting head is sunnah. Lifting hair is sunnah. Nothing to do with fry the wajib. Saying Allah Akbar is fard. Fard. Salat, if you do three hours of sujood, two hours of ruku, your salat will be thrown on the face without Takbir tahrima Salat starts from Takbir tahrima If you don't do niya of hajj, on the, yani, at the place of Niya. If you do Hajj, Arafah, your Hajj is not respected. The first, first, first word of Hajj is Niya. My brothers, the first command of Islam is Dawah Allah. Allah's Nabi was said, Ya Ayyul Mudassir, wake up, Kum Fanzir, Warabba Kafa Kafir, wake up and give Dawah, start giving Dawah. Today Muslims have stopped the work of Dawah. And you know the effect of Dawah is. Muslim is saying Azam, this is Dawah the Tama. It's not Dawah the Salat only. This is complete Dawah. Sit in the two Salat and sit in the Halqa of Salat. So this is Dawah. As soon as Muslim finished the Azam, you know when he calls people for Salat, Allah makes him stand behind the Imam. This is such a thing. For people comes to me and people came to Rasulullah Sassam. Oh Rasulullah Sassam, if we can't do a amal, what should we do? We do. He said, give the dawah of amal, Allah will make you do that amal, inshallah ta'ala. So Muslim calls Azan, he stands behind the Imam. Achha, when Muslims call, say Allah Akbar, Bukhar, Raba Bukhari, Shaitan runs away. Why? Muslim says Allah Akbar, Shaitan runs away. And Shaitan put fingers in the ears. When I was, I used to listen to music and you know, watch movies, 20 years before. I, whenever Azan was called, I used to turn off music. I used to turn off TV. My wife used to take the butter because Shaitan has left. As soon as Azan finished, Shaitan comes back, turn on the music, turn on the movie, the butter gone, take, take it, whatever. My respect brothers, when Musalli says Allah Akbar, Bukhari Rabbi, Shaitan comes back, where are you going man? Yeah, I want to go to Pakistan. Allah Akbar, what do you do? Get married there. Allah Akbar, buy a new car. Allah Akbar, wife has asked for undyed double roti. Eggs has to take him. Shaitan plays. How many rakas you know? Don't know. How many rakas known you? I went to a IS man, aged, 80 years. He was doing salat, sitting, you know, aged. So a guy was selling, he was a car showroom. So his son was selling cars. So a, a group of people came that we want 10 Toyota Corollas. So he said, I've got six, I'll give you four after one week. Father was doing salat. He said, <coughs> four sell mine also. So he was selling cars in the salat. He was saying, <coughs> four sell them, sell them. So our salat, so shaitan comes there. Why is that when Muslim says Allah Akbar, shaitan runs, and Muslim says Allah Akbar, shaitan comes back? Because Muslim is a dai. Shaitan cannot stand, uh, come, can, can, cannot come close to the right. Rasulullah Sassam asked, Ya Rasulullah, don't you have Shaitan? He said, I had Shaitan, Sallallahu But my Shaitan accepted Islam. Brothers, today, why are Duas not, not accepting? Rasulullah Sassam said, why my Ummah will stop the work of Dawat? Allah would put Zalim rulers on them, tyrant rulers on them. See, all, all over the world, people are crying for rulers. 
They cry, Ya Allah, take him away. The next ruler is even more zalim. Then they again pray, then again, the next one is more zalim. Allah's Nabi is saying, when my Ummah is the work of Dawud, tyrant rulers, Allah will impose on them. Allah won't accept any dua of them. You know, one woman, Khala Rizalana, one woman, his, his husband said, you, you look like a, uh, my mother from behind. Now, in those days, it was talaq. So she went to Rasulullah Sassam. Yes, sir, my husband has said, I look like his mother from the behind. So he said, you don't tell, talaq has been, uh, has, uh, you have talaq. He said, Ya Rasulullah, please, said, please, have mercy on me. I have got so many kids, so small kids. How can I live without my husband? So talaq, no, nothing. He, she cried so much. This woman cried so much. Quran came, said, Ya Rasulullah, I have changed the talaq. Now there is no talaq like this. So she made Allah tame the rule of talaq. Today, you know, we cry so much in front of Kaaba. No dua is accepted. Hazrat Sayyid Umar, this woman, Khala, he, she hold the shoulder of Sayyid Umar and started talking to him. One hour, two hour, and he kept sending. Then this she woman left. One Tabi said, Oh Umar, what have you done? She wasted your time. You still uh, listen to her for two hours. She, Umar said, Allah listens to her from that above. Why can't Umar listen to her from that above? So without the work of Dawat, duas won't be accepted. Without the work of Dawat, Allah won't help against the enemies. Tell me, my brothers, where the help is coming. Allah says in Quran, Hakkan Ayla Nasul Mumineen. Allah will help the Mumineen. Help is not coming. Hakkan Ayla Nunjil Mumineen. Allah will give you Nijat if you become a Mumin. We are not getting Nijat from everything. Zalzalas are coming. The earth has gone against us. The skies have gone against us. The winds has gone against us because they become enemies because we have left the Vidal. When we, my Ummah will leave the work of Dawat, Allah will deprive them from the understanding of Qur'an. Understanding Qur'an. We don't understand Qur'an. When the work of Dawat, my Ummah will leave, Allah will put hatred among them. So my respected brothers, come back to this work of Dawah. Without Dawah there is no Islam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, Ya Rasul, Balir, Nauzil alaykum rabbik. Oh Rasul, do tablik of the things that have been revealed to you. Wa illam tafal, fama ballak tari salata. If you don't, don't do the work of tablik, you won't, won't fulfill the rights of risala. And if you do the work of tablik, Wallah yaqsim nas, Allah will you save from the whole mankind. Wallah, if you want to be, want to get us saved from the whole azab, is the only thing is we have to do the work of Dawah. Quran says they were a tomb, a sub sub. They caught fish on Saturday. There were three Jamaats. One with Nabi, few people, only few. One Jamaat caught fish, and one Jamaat was praying. They weren't stopping them from catching fish. Allah said the Jamaat with the Nabi, Anjayna Lazina Nasu, Allah saved from the Adams. They were made monkey, the people which, who were catching fish. They were made monkey. Allah saved the Jamaat which were with the Nabi, stopping them from their wrongdoings. And the other Jamaat who was seeing the show, uh, don't let them do, we are praying, Allah made them khinzir, because Azam came on them. This is the, and Allah says in the Quran, فَلَوْ لَا كَانَ مِنَ الْقُرُونِ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ قُلُوا بَقِيَةً يَنْهُونَ عَنِنِ فَسَلْفِرَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا مِمَنْ نَنْجَيْنَا مِنْهُمْ That, they, why they want the people, the wise people, who in the previous nation, they were seeing sins, but weren't stopping them for harm. But there are only a few. Allah saved from the azab, and the whole town was disturbed with the azab. So second thing we have to give Dawah to is be get away from the shaitan. Third, Dushman is meme, Nahal environment. Environment. Now today this ummah is made for masjid. Allah made the first thing which is in, called Makkah. Lalladhi Bakka Mubarakatam. The first bait. The first bait Allah constructed in dunya is Masjid Kaaba. And why He created? To give people hidayat and barakat. Barakat and hidayat is connected to Masjid. Cricket is connected to cricket ground. Flying is connected to the airplanes. Swimming is connected to swimming pools. Wallahi, hidayat and barakat is connected to Masjid. Today we have no connection with Masjid. Only one person. Allah says in Quran, what is the sign of the guided people? We should know from Quran. This is not guidance. Abu Jahl beard. Firaun has beard. Abu Jahl used to bear a turban. And the, uh, the non-Muslims uh, speak more truth than one us. 
they, less, they fight less than us, on them azab come less than us. Why? Because Allah says the guidance, sign of guidance, uh, guidance of four. Innama yamuru masajid Allah. Man amala billah al Allah. The signs of hidayat are four. They are establishing masjid with amal, they are establishing salat, establishing zakat. Wallam yaksha illallah. And they have taqwa, they don't fear anybody Allah. These are the people who are guided, who are doing four things. Now, Wallahi, the only one person Muslim in the world who are maintaining the Masjid and Amal. They don't have any time. Mal is in Amal. Ah, Mal. Ah, Mal. Correct, Alif and Ayn. Mal is there. We are finding Mal in Dubai and China. The risk which is promised is in the sky. Don't get fooled by the shadow of risk. The, the duty of providing risk to every creation, creator, creation is Allah's, not father's, not mother's. It, it was the duty of the fathers. Why Fatma was hungry and Nabi was doing the effort of deen? It was the duty of my husband. Why Nabi left this world? Nine wives were hungry. It was the duty of Nabi. Why Sahaba was on the floor hungry? Why? This is not our duty. Today we have become robbers. Who is running your home? Me. When you die, then Allah is robbed. Today I am my rab. Allah says, Look around the world. So many creations not taking the risk. Allah is there, Rajik, and you are Rajik. My brothers, we have to come back to the masjid. Fish is made for water. We are made for masjid. The sustenance of fish is in, ma is in the water. The hayat of fish is in the water. Wallahi, our hayat and our risk is connected to the amal of masjid. This, the halqa of zikr, is connected. Risk is connected to the halqa. Quran says, risk is connected to zikr. Risk is connected to tilawat of Quran. Risk is connected to hijrat and nusra. Wallazi namanu wa hajiru wa jahidu sawillah. Wallazi namanu nusru. Ulaik hunka lahum makhrun sun kareem. Who strive in the path of Allah and who do their nusra. They are, they are confirmed mumin. For them there is makhrat and risk on kareem. So mahal Allah says to his Nabi. Wasbun nafsaka ma'al ladina yaduna rabbam with aghati wa shih. O Nabi ji, you also content yourself more Morning and evening to the gathering where people are talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to change the mahal. We have to make our masjids, homes masjid as well. Alhamdulillah, I have got a portion. I have made it masjid. My wife does the same amal. Otherwise, if you, if, because insan is made only the masjid. Iman is made only in the masjid. Taqwa is connected to masjid. Barakat is connected to masjid. If we make this masjid, like Kaaba and Medina, Rasulullah Sassam Masjid was operated 24 hours. Every Sahabi used to spend 8 hours in the Masjid. You know this 9 to 5 came from Sahaba? 9 to 5. 8 hours, every Sahabi used to maintain the Masjid. 8 hours home and 8 hours business. If we maintain this, if we make this Masjid like Masjid Navi, or first Sassam, we'll have a Wi-Fi connection going on from Kaaba and Medina. Same Barakat and Rahmat which falls on them, Wallahi will fall on our Masjid. And if we come to the masjid and sit in four halqas, Rasulullah Sassam masjid was filled with four halqas. And this is the tartib of the revelation of Quran. Four, not like we make the first floor, second, third floor. The Quran was revealed like this. Halqa of Iman. There is no halqa of Iman. I have got my masjid halqa of iPhone. Sitting, oh, you see the, you saw the new iPhone? Oh, wicked man, cool. Halk of dollars, dollar is going up. Halk of, you know, businesses. Halk of riba, halk of uh, everything. Where is the halk of iman? I was telling, I sat with the army people, you know. So they're talking about makhluk, makhluk. I said we should trade our iman. Aman to be makhluk hi, wa police hi, wa foji hi, wa real hi, wa dharam hi, wa china hi, wa dubai hi. We don't talk about angels. Aman to billah hi, wa malaikati hi, wa kutum hi. We have to make a halk of iman. And halk of learning and teaching should sit with the ulamas. And the halk of ibadat, correct our salat, correct our pilawa, correct our zikr, and halk of khidmat. So we have to come back to the masjid mahal. And the fourth thing is nafs. And Allah says a dangerous thing. Allah says that the general, Allah sent Jibreel, go see Jannat. Jibreel went and Jannat was full of luxuries. Allah, Jibreel said, oh Allah, every Muslim, every insan will go in the Jannat. So Allah was, Allah covered the Jannat with what? Mushakkat, sacrifice. 
because we are made of kabad. Lakat khala insana fi kabad. Unless we don't scream in the gym, we cannot make muscle. Unless do we don't pant in the field, we cannot make stamina. This world is made for mushakka. So jannat is. So, uh, close, yani, <coughs> circle with Mushakka. And Jibreel, Allah said, Jibreel, oh Jibreel, see hell. Say, Allah, your hell is very dangerous. Everyone will try to get away from it. So, Allah, you know, open the uncovered things. So, the Jahannam was circled with desires, life of desires. Allah, <coughs> never in Quran, swears on 11 things. Eleven Qasam Allah is taking oaths. Eleven Qad Aflaha Man Zakkaha Wa Qad Khaba Man Dasa Oh my slaves, create your nafs. Save your nafs. Don't follow the nafs. Eleven oaths. Don't follow the desires of nafs. Wa Amma Man Khaba Maqam Rabbi Wa Nahan Nafsa Anil Hava the people who will fear standing in front of Allah and save them from desires. Wallah, our biggest enemy is desires. Desire, desire. Wallah, live. You know, Allah says in the Quran that people of Jahannam had two qualities. Two qualities. They were used of luxurious lifestyle and they were engaged in major sins. Consistent in major things. So we try to live a life of necessity. Without water you cannot, you cannot take the ship, you know. Ship, for ship water is necessity. But not a maqsad. We, we, this dunya, wife, children, these are the necessities. It's not maqsad. Our maqsad is only, what is our maqsad? وَمَا خَلَقْتُ جِنَّ عِلْسَى إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have to do the ibadat of Allah. Na uridum min min risk. I don't want risk from you. I will give risk. Second maqsad is ku anfusum ahlim nara. Save yourself and your home from jahannam. And the third maqsad is kum tum khair ummatin ukhzat in nas. You are the best umma. You have been sent for the whole mankind for what work? To take degrees to make money. No. Ta'amaruna bil maruf, ta'amaruna Do two things, call people to be good, stop them from evil. And if you do this, believe in Allah. In tasayyan surkum, you do the work of Allah, Allah will help you. In the Juma khutbah, Imam, every, every Imam, Arab Ajanam say, Oh Allah, help those people who help your deen. And Allah, don't help the people who don't help your deen. So my respect and brothers, Rasulullah Sassam is the last Nabi. No Nabi will come. And the effort of Rasul is our effort. Allah says in Quran, Yawma yaddu zhalim ala yadehi. Zalim will bite their hands on the day of judgment. They will say, Yaqulu ya laytani itta khastu ma rasul sabila. Oh, I wish I could have made the path of Nabi my path. What is the path of Nabi? Qul hadihi sabili adu ilallah. Allah basiratin anaman ittabani. Tell your Nabi, tell Nabi that your path is Dawat al-Allah. And this is the path of the people who have made you Nabi. And Allah says in Quran, in Kuntum Allah, they are telling that they are Allah. They are telling Allah. Tell them Fatumini. They do your Ittaba. If they do your Ittaba, I will forgive them and I will love them. So Ittaba of Nabi is my brothers and elders and sisters, Dawat al-Allah. So today we inshallah make an intention that we will inshallah maintain the masjid with four amals. This is in the hadith, not I am saying. This is the tartib of revelation of Quran. We will maintain this masjid with four amals and we have sent for the whole ummah. We will go in the path of Allah to spread this deen of Allah. One little dua I asked every uh, Muslim to do that if all of the Muslims, two billion Muslims, go to Makkah on the Laylatul Qadr, Makkah, and recite whole Quran, one Muslim recite the whole Quran in two rakats, in Laylatul Qadr, in Makkah, you collectively collect that ajar, it cannot become two fourth salat. Two billion Muslims reciting Quran, nafil, it cannot make two fourths. What is fourth? We change intention. Intention not to say from the time, we say Allah I'm doing fall. Now the people, the two rakat first salat has so much other. Now we came with the intention to make dunya. This is the wrong intention. We are ready to make makhrat. We came to make ma. No. Now today change intention. Ya Allah change intention today. I am living now in America to establish your deen and to establish salat. Who make the intention inshallah ta'ala. May Allah may guide us to the right way. Anything else to say? Jazakumullah. Everybody ready to, inshallah, ready to give dawat every day, inshallah. We are husband every day or three times a month. 
I am husband for three days or two and a half hours. This is only a tartim. This is Bidda Lid Deen, not Shid Deen. Lid. We are trying to resurrect Deen with this effort. Like Peace TV, yeah, Fala TV, like these lectures. This is only um, effort to bring Deen. So the effort, Deen comes from the Masjid. So this is the effort of Masjid. Wallah, you do the, the Amal. I met a doctor some three months back. He said, I held a lecture of you, of Amal, because it takes two hours to tell you the Amal of the Masjid. So I heard that lecture, and after that lecture, Wallahi, my whole hair house has corrected. My wife has changed. My children have changed, Alhamdulillah. And, and risk, I cannot tell how easy Allah has done. Allah will give you risk in Kareem, if you, inshallah. Two things if we do, Quran and Hadith says, if you maintain the Masjid 24 hours, and love each other, the locality should love each other, and all the locality members should do istighfar and tahajjud. If this, is, if this town, do three things, maintain the masjid 24 hours, do istighfar at night in the tahajjud, and love each other, don't fight, don't fight. The azab would never come on this town. And then secondly, the people who are dies, inshallah, they will be saved from the azab. So we can we die every day, you know, so many Muslims are not coming for Fajr Salat, People come to me from Palestine, from Urdun, from India, from Pakistan. I ask only them one question. I ask them, tell me, what is the percentage of Fajr Musalli in your country? None of them has said 5%. Allah says in Quran, these are munafiqeen who don't pray Fajr in the Masjid. Inna al-munafiqeena yuqadimuna al-qadim. What are the signs of munafiq? Is a qawmil salati kamu kusala. When they are called for salat, they are lazy, they don't come. For well-will in musallin. Now the whole world, you know, such a big sin we are doing. Iblis didn't do sujood to Adam and Salaam. 95% doing, not doing sujood to Allah in the Fajr salat. What will Allah do? So Allah is very kind. Allah says, if I would have destroyed the town, I wouldn't let a single human being live on this earth. But I've given a little time to you. Repent. So we repent, inshallah. Bring every musalli. Like Fajr Salat, masajid are full. Each Salat even more full. So once, inshallah, our Fajr, Jumai, each Salat become equal, you see how Muslims will grow up, inshallah, again. So everybody ready to, inshallah, do this. The, the, the signs of Vedayat are scriptures in Deen, Masjid, Salat, Zakat, and Taqwa. So inshallah, may Allah bring us to all the four amals. Subhanallah, bihamdihi. Subhanakallah, bihamdik. Nashadun la ila illa anta. Astaghfirullah, amin, amin. 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 Allah, for coming out of here, inshallah. Allah bless you and your family. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.